was, remember I was camped up here, you can see here, where the, uh, the brook is I just thought I'd do a sort of an introduction after the bit that I filmed on my phone down by the river. So I'm a little bit further up. I've pitched the front quite low. As you can see, it's uh, very wet even out uh, there. It's been raining not as much as last week. Uh, it's been more sort of on and off, but quite, uh, but you know, but it's, it's been raining most of today. Not as heavy as last week, but certainly quite blustery. So I've managed to pitch the trail star. I'll just give you a quick shoe around in here. So I've put my pack down here where I'll put my shoes later on um, what have we got so I've used this towel which is certainly better than the than that other small one for when you're really wet that's my food and water cooking system there which I'll sort out later and a tablet a small speaker and my phone there I've got the uh, obviously the sleeping bag here and then just down here I've got my clothes which I'll put on for night time in a minute if you saw my uh, other video so there is a companion video to this which I've uploaded uh, everything seems to have stayed dry in here my spare gloves and hats are in there My pillow doesn't look quite so bad, you can see it's got damp on the sides and around the edges. The front was also quite damp, but I've managed to, uh, you know, dry that off quite a bit, so that's not too bad. So my uh, Innovate 150s did well. The only thing, when it's very, very muddy, and very wet then uh, I did find I was sort of you know traction wasn't brilliant but uh, you know I never fell over or anything it's just uh, kept going but they were very comfortable so I think the next thing to do is obviously to take them off and get into bed in a minute it's 3.50 so it's not going to be dark for another hour or so I think sunset is around about uh, half past four or something like that, so it probably won't be dark until about five. So it's probably about a, a good hour of, uh, of light left. I, again, as I mentioned in the other video, I'll try and remember to put a link up from here. I reproofed these, and these did a lot better once they've been reproofed. In fact, the only bit that really got wet was the bit sort of uh, on the instep here, where you're sort of constantly, your legs are constantly rubbing together. So that was the only bit that got quite wet. But that, they've already started to dry just in the time that I've sort of been setting everything up. And the outside of the material is is much better so proofing them did make a big big difference as i say it hasn't been quite as wild as it was last time but it's still been pretty wet and and, and windy and everything so but that, that certainly helped the paramo jacket again i proofed that as well of course last time i had the neo shell uh, but I wanted to give this a try in, in some rain as well, so, so I gave, gave this a really good proofing. 
I think I probably put twice as much in as you're supposed to do. But it actually, uh, I, th I think it works. I think you probably do need a lot more than they recommend, to be honest. But not too much. If you put too much, then it won't breathe and you'll get wet from the inside. But certainly, whatever I did seems to have uh, all the water just beaded up and it never once soaked in at all. So that certainly worked on, on this jacket. So I think everything is dry of what I'm wearing underneath. So that's a bonus from last time. I have to uh, excuse me showing you my crotch. It's not uh, a deliberate uh, ploy to be rude or anything. Well, not too much anyway. But uh, just to show how well, and I haven't wet myself, but that shows how well I've uh, proofed the trousers. And in the time I've been sitting here, or is it sat here? Um, whatever, one of them. Water is obviously dribbled uh, and, and collected there so that shows how well the proofing did work <laughs> excuse me uh, getting my dribbles out <laughs> oh, start the way start the way we may as well continue I've put the pole on the pole mark there but if per chance that section does drop, then I've put this one on 7. So it goes up to about 10, which is probably about there. And then I think stop is probably up there. So I'm sort of imagining, but let's see if that did... If one section did loosen off a bit, then I've got the whole thing quite, quite short. And I've got the whole trail star pitched quite low. So hopefully we won't have that problem again. It's not as uh, it's calmed down quite a bit actually at the moment. Just made a nice cup of tea. So uh, cheers to everybody uh, out there. And thank you. It does sometimes feel quite strange being out here by myself, but once I start. Uh, reading and it's uh, it's very relaxing right, I've just put my uh, chicken casserole on might be able to see that uh, it's the one that's uh, dated uh, quite a while ago so if you've uh, seen my other video then you'll know <laughs> you'll know what dates on it so if this video never gets edited, then you'll have to send out the search parties to uh, to find my uh, my remains out here from uh, eating something that's uh, about a year and a half old, or a year and a quarter. But now I'm sure it'll be fine. Just about. Can't imagine it'll kill me. Mind you, I'll give everybody a bit of peace and quiet. Yes, okay, thank you, I heard that. <laughs> right, I'm going to have my food, and then uh, there will probably be nothing else from me ever again. Bye-bye. You wish. I don't know how much of that you can see, but I was suddenly just lit up in the uh, inside of the trail star and at first I thought there's not someone uh, and I don't quite mean it like that actually but there's not someone wandering around and I thought no it can't be because the, you know, the light wasn't moving so I've just stuck my head out the uh, front of the trail star temperature at the moment 6 degrees so it's still quite warm really and it shows what a cold sleeper I am because this is a, a minus 21 bag and it's six degrees and I'm very comfortable thank you very much <laughs> and I've got my base layer on a fleece on and my coat on <laughs> I think once I uh, zip it up I'll start uh, stripping off a bit otherwise I get too hot sleep well and I'll see you in the morning Nighty night. Well, 
Good morning everybody. It's about uh, 5.40, sorry 6.40. I, I woke up at 5.40 and I nearly thought about getting up and I thought well, that's ridiculous, that's too early. So uh, yeah, so it's a cat natch for another hour or so, so it's about 6.40. I had a pretty good night's sleep actually. A little bit restless but I usually am a bit restless out here. But on the whole, I slept well. I've uh, put my breakfast on, which is in there, and then tea is on there. Well, not on, but it's made. I pitched the uh, trail star quite low because of the inclement weather. But actually the weather hasn't been as bad as I was expecting, to be honest. So I could probably have pitched it a little bit higher. Because uh, at this height I am brushing the inside with my head quite a bit. Not that that's really too much of a problem. It's only my, my beanie that's really getting, you know, damp from that. So I'm not really too bothered. The rain is... Uh, coming down once again. I've just had this sort of strong breeze pick up and I've just noticed down at the foot end, I don't know how well that shows up, there is some condensation uh, splashes that have gone onto the uh, sleeping bag down here. So we'll give that a quick wipe off before I pack it away but it's not leaking there's no no leaks on that mitten hook there and there's no leak on that one either I have seen one drip up here coming through well, I'm gonna start packing up now what time is it now it's it's about ten past seven okay. I'm never up this early at home, not by a million miles, but uh, more like eight at home. But out here by myself, I do tend to get going a bit earlier. So, uh, as I say, I'll start packing up. And I may try and do a bit more video, but obviously as, as it's raining again at the moment, you know, I may not be able to. So on the off chance that I don't, you know, thanks for watching. And I'm glad I was able to get back out, you know. It's the old saying, if you fall off your horse, get back on it again. So it was good to come back out in some uh, bad weather again. And until next time, you know, thanks for watching. Bye. Right, this is just on the way back to the car. You can see how... Well, and I've not put the microphone on, so I hope the saying's okay. It's just a quickie. But you can see how absolutely saturated the ground is. And this is just sort of a normal, you know, bit of more. This isn't a stream or anything, but it's just water just absolutely everywhere. Tap, but it's just stopped. As you can see, we just had that massive black cloud pass over. So I've already said my bye-bye, so <laughs> goodbye again.